Marie, c'est très difficile. Je t'aime bien sûr, mais je pars aussi. Aussi. Tu viens ce soir, je ne suis pas prête. De moi à minute, peu où je m'attends. learned Bonjour and welcome to Fausse Route and in this video I'll be telling you guys about my stay in Paris about all of the awesome adventures all of the awesome people I met there and yeah this was just a intense five days of riding there from Monday to Friday not counting the days of arrival Saturday and Sunday so yeah very exciting let's just get into it and the first question I want to answer right away is how did you bring your ESC there I went there with a plane and I didn't take the mono wheel with me it has a too big battery um, Raphael Bonheur sur Seine check him out lovely person he showed me around for the whole week you'll see a lot of him more in the video he had the v12 I was testing before that is from my e-wheel so the wheel was already there and I just got there via plane and Raphael picked me up when I got there with a bus with a M10 free so I could ride right away to switch wheels to the V12. I guess I insisted that he would have it just a bit easier if he takes the M10 instead of the V12. And right away we also went out to a small night ride in Paris to show me around and I was just amazed by the amount of possibilities with the infrastructure for bicycles. So throughout this video I'll also talk a bit about urbanism and how it is to ride in France, in Paris, what's the community like. But for now it was the end of the night on Sunday and we just finished the little tour with a good crepe. Bonne nuit! I was staying pretty close to the city center in Beaugrenelle in a Airbnb. And right away after eating my bit of a late breakfast we got out and Raphael had a lot of things planned for the day because this was the sunniest and nicest day of the week. So let's ride! And right away I was just blown away how easy it is to ride on a street. Cars are way slower and the infrastructure for basically any sort of transport that isn't a car or a motorcycle is just there and it's just very pleasurable although it's chaotic you know I, I think it's still chaotic and you have to watch out a lot it's just really really nice and it feels safe to me to ride there And in terms of legal matters, it's legal there to ride an electric unicycle up to 25 kilometers an hour on a cycling path or if there's like a small bicycle on the road or on bus lanes, I guess too, if there's um, the bicycle sign. It's not allowed to ride on the sidewalk though, but as it is with rules versus reality, cheers Monocat, um, it's just okay to ride basically anywhere there unless you are on a high speed, uh, I don't know, um, highway. So essentially, if you're riding there and you mind your own business, you're not reckless, nobody will bother you. And I just wish that there would be more countries in Europe that I could visit on monowheel, because this is by far the best method of finding out the awesomeness in a country. Not to mention that you see really bind people and the community is awesome. And yeah, you'll see more of that later. I, I'm just super happy to do what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. 
and the plan for now was to visit the Versailles. Initially we also had some trouble with getting up there by foot and just you know strolling or trolling our mono wheels next to us because there was police that wasn't happy about that for some reason and not giving us any alternatives. However when he got away we just walked up there took some pictures and said okay let's go. Oh yeah and Raphael didn't have such problems before with going up there with mono wheels. And after a small off-road session we got back into the city and checked out Montmartre. And after a bit of exploring I went back home, we did around 70 kilometers and I needed to charge the wheel really quickly because I had plans to go out again in the night. I gotta say riding in Paris is just splendid, magnifique. A thing to note here though about the infrastructure is that a lot changed throughout the last three to four or even five years here and before it wasn't so accessible for micro mobility and cyclists and these are just amazing changes that make this city just great to live. Moving on though this is the next day already it's Tuesday and here I am at Fast Ride and they have quite a lot of powerful scooters there and that's also the company I borrowed the Dualtron City from for the ride review. Here is also a picture with Jeff. Jeff Ride is a really really awesome human, was awesome to chat but then it was time to move on and do more. <laughs> Look at this round of art of mayhem, absolute mayhem. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's so mayhem. <laughs> Look at that guy everywhere. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I need to go right there, I think. Let's take it out. God, yeah. <laughs> so much fun. An excitement. Got it! Survived Arc de <laughs> Then we did some more riding with Raphael, including riding through this tunnel which was closed off to cars and now it's just available to pedestrian, cycling and, you know, UC traffic. We also went to a wheel shop called Eru that Raphael works with for a long time. They borrowed me a Commander HS and were gracious enough to change the pedal height on my V12. Meanwhile, we were riding with Raphael, basically Fpizdu, we don't know where. Then we also met up with Brandon from UC Clubhouse, I got some goodies from him to take back to Poland, and Kevin Lam, who is an amazing photographer who also uses a wheel. And while I was thinking that I will be dead after another 60 or 70 kilometers this day, I went out later tonight to ride with Kevin. We met up in his favorite district of La Défense, where there are many arts exhibitions, art projects and also very very modern buildings, art and it's just a joy to ride around there on elevated pedestrian walkways, pathways, big open spaces and fun areas to wheel around. We also took some pictures and I'm very thankful for that Kevin and as you can see yes he is riding with a ultra expensive camera without a strap on a veteran Sherman and he's pretty speedy. Yes this gives me a bit of anxiety but that's how he rides. I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions about his backpack it's a Bubble Bee GT or GTX with self-made LEDs on the back that are very blinding but I guess they're really cool and visible too. We still did hang out a bit and ride around in La Défense and had fun, but after that it was time to get back home. It wasn't that cold, it was a bit rainy, but it was a good day. And again, more than 100 kilometers.
Next day we had to leave early with Rafael because we had a off-road session planned with some local wheelers in the forest of Senar. The road there was around 30 or 40 kilometers, but we could have taken the train, but Rafael really doesn't like trains that much, so we just rode there, which was also fun. Mind you, I like trains a lot. And anywhere we went, there was either a bicycle path or a low-speed residential street that we could easily ride on. All the people are really friendly and helped us find a way, because Rafael doesn't like using Google Maps that much, so I just find it really adorable. Here he is talking to a bus driver. After meeting up with Fred, Rafael changed his wheel to a rock wheel with an off-road tire, as this is a bit better for a swampy, muddy forest. I kept my V12 because, because I just like it. it. It definitely wasn't the best tire for the conditions there. So we reached the meeting point and with Olivier, Julien, Florian, Etienne and a couple other local riders, we went out to ride. And from riding on a moderately difficult swampy trail, we got into the big guns. And after a short break for lunch and doing some other chores, we went back to the even bigger guns. Jumps. And after this awesome time, it was time to get back home. <laughs> and after this day full of adventures, excitement and lots of riding, probably again like 80 kilometers, something like that, with the off-road included, I didn't have any power this time. So we skipped to Thursday. And this was a day more about meeting people and doing some work. This day I also did the Dual Turn City review. I visit Benjamin here in Mini Wheels, who has also awesome e-bikes. Feel free to comment below if you would like to see one of those on my channel. 
and we also did the interview with Raphael in French. So, so I don't have much writing footage from today, but from Friday, which is coming up, I have tons. And after meeting up with a friend in La Défense, I went out to also check out Saint-Michel. I know, a not typical location, but I got a quest to check out this place, so I went there. And I was surprised that even in the outskirts of Paris, even go going out a bit further, you can always find cycling paths. Sometimes they're not that easy to find, but it's always an infrastructure of connected paths. And this is really cool. And after a 60 kilometer trip in the morning, I went back to rest a little, charge the wheel at 7.5 amps, and then go out for a night ride. There were a lot of awesome people on the ride, and also Thomas, Monsieur Flex, joined in whom I met actually two years ago or so, when my channel had still 5,000 subscribers. It was great to see you again, Toma. Check out his channel, he actually made a world tour on his wheel. Wow. And I also received an awesome shirt from Toma. Sorry, I don't have a picture. Uh, I'll take the one from the internet, it's his brand. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. <laughs> the group ride finished in a restaurant where we could hang out a little and afterwards I also escorted Monsieur Flex home for another 60 kilometers or so uh, because yeah it's not every day you can ride with Toma, right? After that I was at home at 3 a.m. in the morning uh, the V12 had some sort of issues with the battery because probably I was charging it all the time at 7.5 amps and the issue resolved itself after I was charging it again. So yeah, basically on Saturday we didn't do that much, my plane was on Saturday. And at this point, if you're still in the video, leave a massive like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video and ginormous, ginormous thanks to Raphael for showing me around, for being an awesome human and just spending awesome time together. And also big thanks to the whole Parisian, Parisian community and French folk who was there. Um, I had a blast. I'd love to see you again. Au revoir.